In the weeks before Cheryl Fabio started working on her new documentary Evolutionary Blues, West Oakland's Music Legacy, she happened to be reading Isabel Wilkerson's The Warmth of Other Suns, the journalist's eye-word-winning account of the Great Migration that saw millions of African Americans flee the South looking for better lives. Fabio not only recognized the story of her own family, which left Tennessee in the 1950s, and settled in the Bay Area, she realized that Wilkerson's epic history provided the framework for telling the story of the fervently creative West Oakland blues scene. Get more of our music coverage on Flipboard. Her book slammed it home for me that I could tell a story and start where it needed to, says Fabio, who premieres Evolutionary Blues September 27 at Oakland's Grand Lake Theater. With that background of folks heading west from Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana, I could tell the story with the voices of the musicians. I didn't want a narrator. I wanted the people to tell us. Filmmaker Cheryl Fabio said she had to earn the trust of the East Bay Blues community before making her new documentary. Courtesy of Cheryl Fabio the Pulitzer Prize winning Wilkerson is one of the experts who appears on screen in Evolutionary Blues, along with noted music journalists Lee Hildebrand, Ricky Vincent Funk and Party Music and Robert O. Self American Babylon The Struggle for Postwar Oakland. But the film belongs to the musicians. Fabio interviewed some three dozen artists who participated in the glory days of 7th Avenue, when the thoroughfare was a focal point of a thriving music scene in the MID 20th century including Sugar Pie DeSanto, Freddie Hughes, Faye Carroll and Marvin Holmes. The leader of the Uptights, a pioneering Oakland soul band, Holmes proved to be a key to unlocking the tight-lopped scene. But before he would open up to Fabio, she had to prove her commitment to telling the story from the ground up. Like the Oakland Tribune Facebook page for more conversation and news coverage from Oakland and beyond. Marvin grilled me for three hours, she says. Once he decided I was okay, he called around to all of these people and encouraged them to talk to me. They've been waiting to have their story told, but people like Marvin are very particular. They don't trust people. But these big macho guys are the sweetest men I've ever come across. I feel like I've got 30 big brothers. Just about all come out of the church, and they've got this spirit in them. Some of the distrust Fabio had to overcome stems from the contentious history of West Oakland, a community hit hard in the 1960s by freeway construction and urban renewal. Many musicians and club owners also feel the city has long targeted venues catering to African Americans, a campaign described by Jeffrey Pate, who runs Jeffrey's Inner Circle. A production of KTOP, a sit-in production facility, and co-produced by the Sarah Webster Fabio Center for Social Justice which is named after Fabio's late mother a scholar, educator, cultural critic, and black arts movement poet, Evolutionary Blues creates a densely detailed portrait of the scene. In the process of telling the story of the musicians, Fabio captures the larger story of 7th Street, with its music venues, black-owned business, demanding public school teachers, and entrepreneurs like Bob Jett and Sr., who built his own recording studio, launched more than half a dozen indie record labels, and produced records by seminal blues and R.B. artists Lowell Falson, Jimmy McCracklin, Sugar Pie DeSanto and Etta James. Part of what makes Evolutionary Blues such a vivid document is that Fabio draws on earlier works, like Long Train Running, which launched the career of the late groundbreaking documentarian Marlon Riggs. She also found a treasure trove of images by E.F. Joseph, a prolific street photographer whose invaluable record of daily life in Oakland can be found in Carrot Reed and Ruth Beckford's The Picture Man from the collection of Bay Area photographer E.F. Joseph 19,271,979. What comes across throughout the film is the way that the music flows from the lives and experiences of the musicians. Carried from the South, electrified in the East Bay, and funkified when the scene got grittier in the late 1960s, the blues evolved as conditions on the ground changed. For more on what to watch on video and TV follow us on Flipboard. This is just one sliver of that community, Fabio says. What I walked away with is that we are a resourceful people hard-working, quick on our feet, quick thinking. We could continue to thrive if people just stopped blowing up our neighborhood. Contact Andrew Gilbert at jazzscrobe at AOL.com. Evolutionary Blues, West Oakland's Music Legacy, when 7 p.m. September 27 where Grand Lake Theater, 3200 Grand Avenue, Oakland tickets $112, www.renaissanceriolto.com.